What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my Christ subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Virgo, um, not Virgo, I'm sorry. If you're new to my channel and you enjoy my content and you, you want to be notified of future readings, just smash the sub button, just saying, just saying, saying. This is collective reading, caps you side to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it does not apply, apply, apply everyone has free will. Only take the messages to resonate. Okay. I said Virgo because of the channel message. I decided to do this reading. I was working on sign readings and then I got a channel. So I'm going to do this um, collective reading. Um, the channel was a Virgo is going to try to attempt to come back into a fire sign's life. Um, I heard um, try to lure them in with sex and um, sex and um emotional fulfillment but i heard it's gonna backfire the fire sign is gonna call them out on a huge theft so you plug it in how it resonates um it's um you plug it in how it resonates if the, you were the fire sign and it's this fargo i heard they're gonna try to lure you in with sex and emotional fulfillment is what i heard um whoever you are fire sign um hopefully please use your best discernment of course everybody has free will Please, but I would use my best discernment. It's somebody from your past. They're going to try to lure you in with sex and emotional fulfillment. So maybe they think you're depressed. Maybe they think you're lonely. Um, hopefully you show them what's up. Just saying, just saying, just saying. Because that is, it is very, for very, very, very strategic reasons. Okay, I heard it's for very, very, very strategic reasons. Okay. Um, I heard you're going to call them out, fire sign, on a huge theft. Um, but this Virgo is doing it for very strategic reasons. So they want to come back and lure you in with sex and emotional fulfillment. But you're going to call their ass out on huge theft. And so I think it's probably going to catch them off guard. And um, good for you. Good for you. Just saying. Um, and they're doing it for strategic reasons. So the, I feel they stole from you in some in a huge ass way. And you're going to call their ass out. So that's what I think. But you plug it in how it resonates. Good for you. Fire signs are Aries, Leo, Sag. You could, uh, fire sign, if this is for you, you could have Aries, Leo, or Sag, and your sun, moon, rising, Venus, Wolf, and Midheim, or Jupiter. It's a Virgo. They could have Virgo, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, Wolf, and Midheim, or Jupiter. It is a Virgo from your past. For some of you, I strongly feel you've slept with them in the past. Um, for some, it could be one time. For some, you could have been in a relationship. For some, it could have been a situation ship. For some, you could have slept with them 50 times. I don't know, but I, I, I do think they sold from you, and I think they sold big from you. And they're obviously very emotionally manipulative. So I would be aware. My personal motto is I don't allow anybody in from my past, especially people I have slept with or dated. That's my personal motto. But of course, you can uh, do whatever you want to do. But um, good for you for calling them out on theft. Just saying, because I heard that's basically what would happen. Because um, they're about to, whoever this Virgo is, they're about. it sounds like they're about to do it soon. Um, I think they think you're depressed or you're down or you're lonely. You most certainly are not. And you're going to show them another thing. Oh, my God. Whoa. Spicy fire sign. Spicy. I heard you most certainly are not. And you're going to show them another thing. So you go, well, you go with your bad self. So you're not depressed. You're not depressed, fire sign. You go with your bad, bad self. You're going to show that Virgo what's up. Holy crap. All right. I'm going to pull some Kipper. Oh, we experiments to just see how it's on a Virgo. Experiments to just see how it's on a Oh, oh my God! Yeah, wow. Spirit messages have kind of broken. Okay. try again. Spirit messages have kind of broken. Spirit messages have kind of broken. Okay. Wow. Okay. I heard stop. Stop. Okay. Uh. Okay. All right, so number 22, 16, 13, 15, 38, or 19 could be very significant to you, fire sign, or the Virgo. 
Um, 22, 16, 13, 15, 38, or 19, that would be ages of you or somebody you're connected to. It could be a lottery number. It could be a date of birth number, a green card number, a social number. It could be a jersey number of you or somebody you're connected to, or significant numbers you're seeing out on billboards or advertisements in some shape, form, or fashion. 22, 16, 13, 15, 38, or 19. We have official person reversed, thoughts reversed, wealthy man upright, lovers reversed, toll and labor upright, coffin reverse, uh, coffin upright. This person is very street side, but they're going to make you think that they have changed. They know you are not in the street side. Someone, a lover from your past. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Wow. So I heard um, this is a person of your past, a lover of your past. So you have had, you were either in a committed relationship with them, a situationship, or a one-nighter. But you have had sexual relationship with them in some shape or fashion. You have lovers reverse, so it was in the past. Um, it's a Virgo. Um, you could be a masculine or femme, Aries, Leo, Sag. Um, but the Virgo um, is um, a lover of your past. There, Aries Leo Sag. Um, but um, I heard um, they are very street side, and you know this, and you're not into that kind of behavior. But um, and they know you're not. But they're going to make you think that they've changed. Um, but they haven't. So um, you have official person reverse thoughts reverse. So I think this is the street side energy. This is them giving no thoughts. Um, they never put any time and effort to you in the past. And they're doing this impulsively because it's for strategic reasons. So um, they're doing, coming back to you for strategic reasons, um, for street, uh, some kind of street side behavior. But they're going to make you think that they've changed. Try to give you emotional fulfillment and try to, Oh, baby. Um, I heard for sex, too. They want sex. Um, but you're going to give them another thing coming. They're very wealthy, but it's because they stole from you. So they're coming up as wealthy man upright. It could be a masculine energy or a femme energy it takes on a lot of masculine. This Virgo. Um, this is their energy. Um, but um, I heard you're going to give them another thing, fire sign. So you are not going to partake in this. Um, you're not. I mean... You're not going to partake in it. So lovers reversed. It's somebody you've had sexual relationships from the past. Toll and labor upright. I think they know because I heard you're going to tell them another thing. So, and you're going to call them out on a huge step. So I think they, the um, toll and labor upright is when they get to you, whether it's through text or messenger, phone call or 3D, and they, and you call them out on a huge ass theft, they're going to know they have to put work into the relationship. Or they're going to try to offer you sex and emotional fulfillment. Bitch, please. Just saying. So, um, yeah, no. Nay, nay. So, they know they're going to have to put work into it, basically. Totally broke, right? Because your lover's reverse. So, I mean, for some, I feel it was a long-ass time ago you had some sex. Um, or you were in a relationship or whatever. It was a long-ass time ago. They know they're going to have to put work into it. And you're going to call them out on a huge theft. Coughing upright. Ending of it. Um, they, it's, you're going to shut them down. You're going to shut them down. You are going to shut them free. You are totally going to shut them down and it's going to piss them off. Plan not going according to plan. Okay. I heard uh, you're going to shut them down and it's going to piss them off. Plan not going to plan. So you're going to shut them down. You're going to shut them down. This is a shutdown energy. Um, you shutting them down fire sign. And um, and their plan is not going to go according to plan. So they have some kind of strategic plan. For some, I feel they could put, want to put you in some kind of third-party energy or or have you join some kind of black magic coven or cult or game or some shit. Um, but I heard you're gonna um, you're gonna you're gonna shut them down. This Virgo is very arrogant. They think they are very good looking, but they are not. Oh my God. Whoa. You plug it in how it resonates. Okay. So this Virgo fire sign, um, I heard they're very arrogant. They think they're very good looking. Um, but I heard, um, they're not, they're not. Um, 
So they think they have a ego high, basically. They think they're the most best looking things to slice cheese, or they think you think they're the most best looking things to slice cheese. But I don't, you have no emotional, um, your energy towards them is lovers reverse, man. You don't have any emotional fulfillment towards them. Their cups do not fill you. Um, or they haven't filled you in a long time. So much so you went lovers reverse on their ass. Um, so, and they think they are just the best looking thing since sliced cheese. So, um, you're going to shut them down. You're going to shut, hashtag shut down. Um, it's going to piss them off. Um, I don't blame you. They can go thinking they're the best looking thing since sliced cheese to somebody else. Um, good for you, fire sign. Good for you. Um, good for freaking you. Just saying. I, I feel like I need to get a moon cycle and then I'm going to close it. This is so... I think I'm going to title this Ego High. Spirit messages you have for Santa Virgo. I meant for the collective, sorry. Okay. Spirit messages you have for Santa Virgo. Okay. Heard stop. Okay, so we got gratitude in reverse and focus in reverse. Number 14 and 23 could also be very significant numbers in your life in some shape, form, or fashion. 14 or 23. Gratitude reverse and focus reverse. This is their energy when they come back to you, fire sign. This is what I'm feeling. Um, you're going to throw them off balance. They're not grateful that they stole from you. They have no remorse, no gratitude um, towards you. They stole from you in a huge ass way. They do not appreciate you. They have no gratitude towards you. Um, they have some kind of strategic sticky, sticky plan to come back. They want sex from you. They're very take, take, take and not give, give, give. So they do not, are not grateful for you. They're not thankful for you. They just think they can do whatever to you. So gratitude reversed and focus reversed. I think this is them when you hashtag shut it down. You're going to uh, throw them off their game. They're going to be very unfocused, unbalanced, um, very off kilter when they try to come back because you're going to hashtag shut it down. That's exactly what I think. Let me see if I hear anything else. It's not going to go far with this person at all. It's going to piss them off. Okay. Or it's not going to go far with this person at all. It's going to piss them off. So it's not going to go far with this Virgo, um, Aries Leo Sag. It's not going to go far with the Virgo. It's going to piss them off, actually. Um, so they do. They, they're very narcissistic. They have a huge ego high. Um, they think they're the best looking things to the sliced cheese. Um, just saying. But I heard they're not. I heard from Spirit they're not. For some, I don't feel you've seen them in years. And I'm serious about that. Um, um, because if you had seen them just a couple days ago, why are we getting the Spirit message? Just saying. So I think for some of you, you haven't seen them in a hot ass minute. I mean, you definitely haven't had sex with them in a hot ass minute. Your lover's reversed. So, um, I don't think you've seen them, physically seen them, but they think they just look the bomb freaking diggity. Um, but you're going to be throwing them off kilter, buddy. Uh, some, they might come, try to come back in 3D. For some, it might be text. For some, it might be messenger. Just be aware on this. I think it's going to happen soon. All right, let me see if I hear anything else. Paul, Kayla, Stacy, Marie. Paul, Kayla, Stacy, Marie. Morgan, Mariah, Smith. Morgan, Mariah, Smith. Casey. Casey. Tracy. Tracy, Bobby, and Bobby, okay, and Bobby. So that could be a first name, middle name, last name, and Damon, and Damon, and Damon. Okay, so that could be a first name, middle name, last name, your name, somebody you're connected to's name. It could be a nickname. It could be a street name. It could be a name of establishment or business. You plug it in however it resonates. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. All right, you guys. Well, I hope this helped. I love you guys so much. Namaste.